two pairs of premolars are present in both maxilla and mandible first premolar and second premolar let us see the differences between the premolars of the two arches we will start with some general features premolars are also known as bicuspids as they have two cusps however the term bicuspid is not ideal for mandibular premolars as first premolar has only one functional cusp and the second premolar more commonly has three cusps in this video we will be considering only the three cusp type of mandibular second premolar in maxillary premolars the crown shape is similar to each other however in mandibular premolars they are very different but if we consider the roots both mandibular premolars have same number of roots whereas in maxilla they are different as first premolar has two roots both maxillary premolars develop from four developmental lobes however in mandible only the first premolar develops from four lobes as second premolar develops from five developmental lobes coming to measurements both maxillary and mandibular premolars are almost of equal dimensions from all aspects except buccolingually where the maxillary premolars are bigger than the mandibular premolars therefore in general it can be said that maxillary premolars are larger than mandibular premolars also within the arch if we look at their dimensions both maxillary premolars appear equal in size but if we consider the two roots first premolar is larger than the second premolar however in mandible second premolar has greater dimension than the first premolar additionally the three cusps make the second premolar the larger of the two premolars now let us study the morphological differences from individual aspects starting with the buccal aspect in both mandibular premolars to the midline axis of the tooth the buccal cusp tip lies to the mesial side however only in maxillary second premolar the buccal cusp tip is mesial as in first premolar it is distal to the midline axis similarly in both mandibular premolars the distal buccal cuspal slope is longer than the mesial buccal cuspal slope however in maxilla only in second premolar the distal buccal cuspal slope is longer as in first premolar the mesial buccal cuspal slope is longer than the distal buccal cuspal slope next lingual aspect in mandibular premolars the lingual cusp are smaller in size in comparison to the lingual cusps in maxillary premolars moreover in mandibular premolars the difference between the size of the buccal cusp and lingual cusp is more as compared to maxillary premolars where they are almost of same size due to this difference in mandibular premolars more of occlusal surface is seen than seen in the maxillary premolars in both mandibular premolars a developmental groove is seen in mandibular first premolar it is the mesial lingual groove whereas in second premolar it is the lingual groove no such groove is there in maxillary premolars mesial aspect the outline form in maxillary premolars is trapezoidal in shape whereas in mandibular premolars it is rhomboidal in shape this is because on the central axis of the tooth the crown of both the mandibular premolars has a lingual tilt however it is not so in maxillary premolars In maxillary premolars both the cusps are within the confines of the root whereas in mandibular premolars the lingual cusp is outside the lingual outline of the root moreover with respect to the midline axis mandibular premolars have buccal cusps nearer to the midline axis than maxillary premolars mesial marginal ridge in both maxillary premolars is horizontal whereas in mandible it is horizontal only in second premolar but in first premolar it is oblique next distal aspect the differences seen from the mesial aspect are same in the distal aspect as well finally the occlusal aspect in maxilla the outline form of first premolar is hexagonal in second premolar it is oval whereas in mandible in first premolar it is diamond shape and in second premolar it is squarish in maxillary premolars the buccal cusp and lingual cusp are at equal distance from the center of the tooth whereas in mandibular premolars the buccal cusp is nearer to the midline than the lingual cusp both maxillary premolars mesial and distal triangular fossa are present but in mandible only the second premolar has two triangular fossa as first premolar has mesial fossa and distal fossa which are not triangular but are of linear shape and circular shape in both maxillary premolars a central developmental groove is seen running mesio distally between the two cusps whereas in both mandibular premolars no central developmental groove is present